This is the tragic tale of an overly ambitious build inspired by Super Mario Land, one of my favorite childhood games. But as sad as the end result is, hopefully my retelling of this project in rap musical form will make it somewhat more entertaining. This is Gamey Builds, and let me tell you about my epic failure. Let's go! So the first thing I did was to work on the base. Got a piece of pine and rolled some polymer in place. I used to not like crafting my terrain, but like barnacles they've grown on me, I'm, I'm going, going insane. insane. These wormy bits are ridges that'll be in the sand. It's not in the game, but this would be too bland. The goal is to balance art and accuracy, so next comes the texture, cause extras are key. It makes no sense that the ridges and ripples don't run in parallel, but instead perpendicular. But eyes over here now, we're painting the sand from that tan to this tan, cause this man has no plan. But that sand was too flat, so I ruined this brush for a stippled effect, cause I guess I hate my stuff. My workshop is where good craft supplies get unglued and misused and abused, then die. After I had textured my bleak underwater scene, I added some clay sea life quite unnecessarily. Leftover red from the shawl of my lo-fi girl became a Mario-esque starfish in a submerged world. For greenery and seaweed lurking beneath the tide, I applied this dried polymer flattened inside. Because I know exactly what you're thinking, these clay strips look oh, like no, Italian no. pasta. This guy must, must be a racist. Whoa, 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 but it was unintentional, just a weird anomaly of my building. You will see, don't kill me. Mamma mia! For sea enemies, no anemones, though this entity will be knee deep. Tinfoil supplementary, cause like him, I'm a cheap cheap. The rest is simple polymer and with color, no need painting, cause like this frosty slightly, I'm, I'm about them shortcuts, baby. With my seaweed scenery hardened and baked and caked and paint, I brushed the remains and dozens of bubbles were rolled from this clay. I had self restraint if I had my way. I woulda done more, I'm not okay. I think this brain's had too much paint. Could you get help and send it my way, please? Mario Submersible was crafted from this toy, a dollar for this, jeez, inflation's a real joy. The exterior was plated and baking was a trial, to avoid the plastic melting I kept adjusting dials. For the submarine pontoons or maybe torpedo bays, I rummaged through my garbage, found these markers and added clay. For the sub's interior, I first taped off this bit, then painted the inside and a bit of the rim. Call it cheating if you want, but this part is just a Lego. Hey, at least my rhymes aren't lazy. Something, something, something Lego. For the famous fighting plumber, well, we're right back to clay. Got a bit of nostalgia, cause man, those, those were the, the days. days. I then added a mustache, and here are his brows. Then sculpted his ear so he could hear his... <laughs> Then came his hair, first the sides, and then the back, then the finishing touch, this iconic red cap. For his blue and red outfit, more clay as seen here, also this texture is pointless, this will never appear. Once hardened and baked, I painted Mario's eyes, then the M on his brim, then revisited this guy. With the pupils painted, I then touched up the wings, also Mario's world is scary, what the heck is this thing? I then crafted details for Mario's submarine, then put it in the oven and forgot and I screamed. It was at this moment that I curled into a ball, befuddled and muttering, punching knuckles into walls. My propeller had melted, the turbines had cracked, I smacked my own forehead, my project was jacked. So I sifted through Legos and found a second piece, but I was too annoyed to employ the former Dremel technique. With the pieces sort of fixed, I then coated in yellow, which made the two hues differences a lot more mellow. To insert my seaweed scenery straight into the base, I drilled little slots into the sand-colored plate, then carefully glued each strand of kelp into place, then smothered and stuffed to cover up this disgrace. With the submarine done, I put Mario in, glued down his hatch and added bubbles to fins, then realized for the first time that things might not fit. Also super glue ruined the submarine's lid! After this many builds, you'd think I'd learn? Uh-uh.
But nope, these builds are filled with little more than my unskilled hope. Crafting this way is daft a slippery slope. One day I'll learn to measure and plan, but for now we cope. The fact is I'm no master, I'm still learning, still a dope. So as you watch me fumble through these builds and videos, remember it's a start, got a long way to go. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the ride. ride, maybe subscribe. Now on to the poor we go. It was my first time working with resin. Heard a lot of horror stories, was a bit hesitant, so I measured carefully. One part resin, one part hardener. Stir three minutes, mix some tin, and then into this compartment. This bucket had hot water, cause I read it helped the resin set, but that was a crucial error, which we'll get to in a minute. The beginning wasn't bad, till I noticed tiny puddles. Thought I'd sealed up every crack, but soon I had some bigger troubles. not enough. Thought I'd calculated right, but oops, not enough, goop. Just swell. Can you tell that math is not my strong suit? Not important. Spent a fortune. Had some more for pouring in. But when I added it, the mixture started forming this. What's more was plumes of steam rising from the chemicals. Wasn't sure if it was poison, but was feeling skeptical. So I exited my workshop, did a quick Google query. Exothermic reaction was the most likely theory. With the pre Heated resin, see my mold could not facilitate. Cooling down this volume, no way for heat to dissipate. This sped up the curing process, locking all the bubbles in. Also probably not great that my stands were made from hollow pens. In the end, I learned a thing or two. Resin's evil glue. Someday I might try again, but till then... If there is a next time, I'll shop at a wholesaler. You just watch my most expensive crafting... Failure. Thanks for tuning in, hope you liked it anyhow, see you next time, this is Gamey Builds over and out.